right, so, um, what in the world? Oh my gosh. What, what's going on? What happened? Somebody just poked at me. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you guys asked for it. So today we are going to wire up the horn off this donor fuse box, okay? Okay. So let's get started at it. I've already got my pointer, okay? <gasps> All right, so let's, let's start off with talking about this 86C10 and how the horn works on this thing, okay? Okay. And, and why, here in Missouri, you have to have a horn to get your car license. Yeah. Okay, and probably a lot of other states. I think it's a one of the human, basic human rights. Yeah. That you have the right to enrage uh, <laughs> or create road rage. <laughs> okay? Yes. So How else so, can you tell people to get out of your way if you don't have a horn? Yeah, so the state <laughs> steps in and says, hey, these people have got to have a way to communicate. Yeah, uh, their anger. Yes, <laughs> not visually, okay? Okay. Because we all know that we rely on that horn yep. uh, to <laughs> express ourselves. Yes. Okay, so on uh, 86, all right? All right. Uh, how did they work? We had a power source coming from the battery back in, into the fuse box. It goes through the firewall, of course, into your fuse box. And then it would go to uh, the horn relay because a horn takes a pretty good amount of juice, okay? Okay. So they use a relay. Uh, it's a three pin relay. The power that's coming in branches off and goes to the cigarette lighter also, okay? Okay. Uh, and then from there, uh, 86 are, is going to be the source to ground for it to um, Turn that relay on, okay? It's normally normally open, okay, like in this picture. And when we get a source to ground through the switch, uh, it's gonna close that circuit and you're gonna get power going to 87 basically. Uh, and then your horns are gonna go, okay? Okay. So that's, a, that's how they work on this truck. Uh, on the 2004 that we're doing, uh, we will be able to go into the truck and eliminate this relay, okay? Okay. And we're basically gonna tie these two wires together and then everything in the exterior fuse box from the 2004 donor will make all that happen, okay? Okay. I don't like to go underneath a dash and um, add anything underneath a dash, That's, uh, but I don't mind going in and eliminating something which is just that relay, okay? Yeah. yeah. So I, I never want to make it more complicated under there than it has to be. Yeah, makes it easier for the next guy to figure exactly. it out. Yes, exactly. All right, so let's talk about how the LS side of the horn works, okay? All right, so how does the uh, 2004 Denali uh, donor, does it, how does that work, okay? Okay. Uh, the fuse box has got uh, power going to its relay uh, 30, 85, hot at all times, hot. And then we go from there and instead it goes uh, a ground through the switch. Okay? okay, 85 and 86, that one's gonna be grounded and it's gonna supply power to 87, which goes through a 15 amp fuse and comes out with two green wires out of the C4 connector and goes to each left and right horn, okay? Okay. So it's a little bit simpler. But, uh, for some reason or another, they also, when you ground the switch out, the body control module uh, wants to know that you're honking your horn. Uh, it's probably insurance related. Uh, the minute you uh, are honking that too many times, they <laughs> send a message to your insurance company saying you have road rage. Yeah. Uh, that's the only reason I can figure out for it. <laughs> Except for maybe it automatically rolls your windows up. Ooh, there you go. Locks your doors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> doors lock and your windows get rolled up. Yes. Okay, so I have no clue, but I'm going to find out. I guarantee you. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so somebody asked me uh, in a recent headlamp video, if you haven't watched that video, you, you need to go watch it. Yeah. Uh, he asked me why... 
I wouldn't just take the wires and go uh, from the original horn and go to pin 85 to fire it up and fire off the horns. I cannot get to pin 30 and 85. Those are built into, they're built into this, okay? okay? And so there's no way for me to get those. I can't get a pin off the back that, that will go to those. Uh, it's just built into it, and it's the same thing for the high and low uh, headlamps, okay? Okay. And this is the horn uh, mm -hmm. relay in this fuse box, so. Okay. All cool. right, but that's why that's why we're going to do that. It doesn't apply to the horn because uh, the horn, we just have to supply a path to ground. So we're not going to have to add a relay at all to this circuit. It's going to be very simple, okay? All right. So we'll show you how we do that. All right, so how are we going to uh, incorporate the two of these together, okay? The way we're going to do it is we are going to eliminate the 86C10 relay. All right. Okay. So uh, I'll just do it. Okay? okay. Are you gonna be mad at me for yes. ruining your picture? I worked so hard. Okay. So we're gonna remove this relay. All right. And say that thing is not there any longer. And all we need to do to make this horn uh, go. All right. I'm gonna even get rid of that one. Okay. All right. We're gonna make a connection between um, this wire. And that wire. All right. Okay. Now the one that used to come out and power the horn from the interior fuse box, uh, it's still connected to that orange wire, and it'll power up the cigarette lighter. Okay. Okay. Uh, or power port, whatever you want to call it. All right. But just by eliminating that uh, relay and connecting these two wires together, we are going to get a source to ground on 86 and it will complete the connection between 30 and 87 which will make the horns blow okay sweet so this would be the original wire that went out to the truck and ended up connecting at this end and went to the horns okay okay but we don't have that uh putting power to them anymore uh we got to put all the corns to it with this one <laughs> so we're just using that uh source to ground from the switch to do that really okay so imagine that uh this wire like if it was um disconnected there and there that's the way it would have worked back in 86 okay okay but we're doing it through this relay now okay because that relay is gone okay all right so, so. on this wire you're actually going to mess with both ends of it yeah right? we're going to have to add a, a a wire into connector number one c3 and that's the wire that goes through and ends up going through the actual switch and grounds that relay out okay, okay. so we've turned this wire that used to connect to this one we've just turned it into a ground okay okay and it's not it it looks complicated but it really isn't okay all right, and then this is all just forgotten about because it's going to be fine the, the second we pull that relay out of there. Yep, so you don't right. have to do anything at all to keep the cigarette lighter working? No. Sweet. Nope. So let's go do it on the truck, okay? Let's do it. All right, so we're going to do the interior side of it first, okay? And on this truck, the uh, horn relay is this one right here. Uh, it mounts down by the accelerator pedal. I got to move it anyway because it interferes with it and um, I'm going to start by just getting rid of the relay okay, okay. so that's the three pin relay for the horn sweet uh, it won't get used ever again okay well, we'll use it for something no I'll make a necklace okay well you can do that. okay all right so uh, this is our these are our orange wires okay Okay. Those go to the uh, cigarette lighter now with the fuse pulled out. They're tied together in that, that circuit. So we're just going to cut the green wire, okay? Mm -hmm. And we're going to cut the uh, black wire that goes to it, okay? Okay. So we're going to uh, connect them. Okay. All right. The two of them, that's going to make uh, our source from... Uh, the outside fuse panel now it will just go through the uh, 
steering column up to the switch in the uh, steering wheel button. Okay. And it will ground, it will be the source to ground, okay? So there will never be another relay put in that. And that circuit with the orange wires will work uh, fine, okay? Sweet. But you do have to do that, and I don't mind uh, eliminating something. I just don't want to add anything in here. Yeah. Okay. So let's do that. Juicy, you helping? All right. Okay, let's do this with a solder a butt connector. <laughs> you said butt. <laughs> yeah. Every time. Uh, people are starting to count on that. <laughs> now, no matter what I'm working on, I have to work a butt connector into something. Mm -hmm. And we'll do more outside. We got more butt connectors to do, so mm -hmm. it'll be a bigger opportunity to use that. <laughs> All right, so now these two wires are just uh, going through the firewall and going through the steering wheel or steering wheel, and it's just a source to ground now, okay? Okay. So this is going to go to pin 86 on the exterior uh, relay. We'll, we'll have to go out there and cut one wire and add two wires, kind of, and then this baby will be done. Sweet. All right. And we'll see if it works. Oh, and we did check to see if it worked. Before. We did. Yeah, we definitely know the horn worked. Yes. Okay. Ah, so the horn wire, it's down here uh, where the headlight wires go also. It's in the same wire loom. Sweet. Uh, it's uh, on this truck, it's a black with a green tracer wire, okay? Ooh. I'm just gonna cut it right there, okay? Okay. So this one goes down to your horns. Uh, it splits off into two, uh, the LS uh, comes out with two wires, but this is the wire that we just connected now and it's just a ground uh, through your switch, okay? Yep. It does not go through a relay anymore, so this one is going to go to, to connector number one, C3. So let's do that since the that's the direction the circuit's flown. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got to add uh, a ground wire to connector number one in position C3. Uh, I already have the little blue thing taken out of the connector, so I can just push it in there. Um, hopefully. Come on. Come on. All right. Okay, it went in there. So. Yeah. Connector number one, three over is C, and then one, two, three down. So there you have it. Okay. Okay. So we find that end that is just going to ground. Try to keep it out here. So I gotta, I'm gonna connect these two, all right? Okay. So that's our ground that's oh. gonna, is that wire messed up? Yeah, it's gonna. Yeah, no, okay. All right, well, we've got plenty of length there. Yeah. Good catch. Yeah, I found this, I I put this wire, or, or I found this wire uh, in one of my extra looms, but it doesn't have to be a huge wire since it's just grounding a relay now. Yep. All right. So, that one, no. Okay. Okay. Ah, we'll go back later and put some heat shrink over that one. Okay. Okay. So now on connector four, and we just went through this the other day with the headlights, and we left connector four in there. Uh, position A6. Okay? Okay. Two green wires. We don't have uh, two wires to go to anymore because it splits right here. Oh, yeah. All right. So we're going to run these two wires to it so it can handle the uh, amperage. All right? Yeah. 
What is it about horns that the government wants you to have a horn? I don't know, but you know what they always say. What? Honky for corny. <laughs> <laughs> You want a little bit of back in the day? Oh, sure. Huh? Uh, back in the day when you didn't have airbags, mm -hmm. um, we would do like uh, turn signal switches and that. Mm -hmm. And like we were, of course we're lazy and uh, we wouldn't want to uh, disconnect the battery because mm -hmm. you didn't have to before the day of airbags. Yeah. And uh, so we would do ignition switches on these trucks and uh, not uh, disconnect the battery. So you'd be working in the shop and you just have to run around and tell people, um, hey, I'm, I'm gonna be possibly honking the horn, <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. But if you were good, it was like a, a what's the game, the uh, operation. Oh yeah. <laughs> if you were good, you could do the whole job and not make the horn honk, okay? That'd by be. by grounding it out when you pulled the steering steering wheel off. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's a. Yeah, but otherwise, when you walked into a shop back in the '80s and '90s, the horns would just be <laughs> uh, going off and on periodically, just because we didn't want to disconnect the batteries. Yeah. yeah. All right, so those are our two wires that come from C4 uh, position A6 that go to the horns. Okay. And then this one branches off to both of them and fires them up. Okay. The horns are the source to ground after it passes through the fuse in that fuse box. And that's it. Okay. Okay. So. What should we do? Um, suppose we should see if it works. All right, see if it works. Battery's connected. Uh, I'm gonna push on the horn button, okay? Okay. All right, don't get scared. <gasps> ah! There you have it. All right. Good. Now we have horns. It's legal in the state of Missouri. Yay. <laughs> to honk at somebody. Imagine how many lives would be saved if we just eliminated horns. Yeah, really. You know? mm -hmm. Fist fights and traffic we right. could prevent. Oh, yeah. I ask you if you're ready, and it's definitely me that's not ready. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Yeah. I keep getting moved out of the camera frame. No, you're... You just don't want me to be in you're it. You're standing in the center, and then I'm over here like, Hey, guys. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. Not you. Mm. Hey, YouTubers. Hey, YouTubers. <laughs> no, it's my line. Shush. Guys, you're out of it, okay? You had your chance. <laughs> lame, lame, lame. Go find your ball. We've had people ask that you not be on camera anymore. Yes. Catch you guys next time. <laughs> Muffin, you. I think it was good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. Ow. laughs> Everybody needs stepped to on. go somewhere. <clears throat> All right. So even though it's just a horn, it's something that you can uh, take from and, and learn from it and apply it to something else if you like, okay? And you might've noticed we got some new UTX shirts. I will put a link that will pop up here in just a second. We really appreciate everybody who has bought our stuff and supported the channel. We appreciate you guys watching. Thank you, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. It really helps us out and we will catch you next time. I noticed you shaved and everything today. You're like a baby face. Oh really? Yeah, yeah baby face nose. Yeah, I've, I've heard of that. <laughs> they both want to go through with them. Oh, I know.
Facebook. Oh, goodness.